Thank you for joining my masterclass. Now today we're talking about the surest investment for your money. You know, the surest investment, the safest investment for your money. Now, uh, before I go into this investment, I need to explain that there are um, investment areas where you can make a whole lot more money. But the thing is that it, it, they come with risk. So there's a risk that you might lose some of your capital or all of your capital, you know, and um, there's, you know, on the flip side of it, you can make a lot of money. You can make as much as uh, a 41,000% return of investment. I'm talking about uh, cryptocurrency and then NFTs, you know, obviously there's more risk involved with NFTs because NFTs are more susceptible to market manipulation and um, there are not enough regulatory frameworks in the world to uh, regulate them. Just like you have uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission regulating uh, the stock market and then you have like maybe the Financial Service Authority in the United Kingdom, you know, regulating the financial markets. Um, NFTs are something new and you know like they're not well regulated you know crypto is now getting better regulated especially at the state level in the United States so you have the the New York State Department of Financial Services they're doing a very good job in regulating cryptocurrency but today you know I'm going to be talking about another area now you know most people who want to invest you know, and they want to invest in safe investments, they tend to go two ways. They get, tend to go two ways. So the first way is they want to go into real estate. They want to go into real estate. Now, if you live in a place like uh, America or in Europe, you know, yeah, it, real estate might be a good idea because here's the thing about real estate. Real estate is tied to a location. It's tied to a location. So you can't um, look at how good real estate is doing in say America and then you want to invest in say Nigeria or Ghana it I mean it, it doesn't relate real estate is tied to the economy so and the reason why is because like um, it's fixed so you can buy real estate in a place like Nigeria for example and transport it to New York you know to Manhattan where you have you know prime real estate you can't do that so real estate is fixed to a location and because it's fixed to a location it's completely at the mercy of the economy of that location of that loci where it is so it's completely at the mercy of the economy of the jurisdiction where it is so in some areas real estate might be a good idea in other areas for instance you know if you invest in real estate in a place like Atlanta or in a place like New York or in a place like uh, Miami it's a good idea you know if you invest in real estate in London it's certainly it's not just a good idea it's an awesome idea if you invest in real estate in Paris if you invest in real estate in uh, Reykjavik you know these are I mean good areas to invest in real estate because uh, the economy is doing well and then you've got um, a good housing market you know however uh, if you're in Nigeria you know, investing in real estate is not a good idea right now obviously you're going to have realtors people whose job it is to sell houses and then they'll be telling you oh invest in real estate it's a good idea they are not telling you that because it's a good idea they're telling you that because they make commissions out of real estate so it's like going into a shop you should never go into a shop and then look at the jacket maybe like this kind of jacket you wear it and then you ask the shop owner does it look good on me obviously he's going to tell you yes because he wants you to buy his inventory he wants you to buy his stock so you're not going to get good advice from realtors in nigeria you see now the, the nigerian market is suffering from some of the worst inflation on earth as a matter of fact uh, this year 2022 um, Fitch is uh, and Standard & Poor's they're actually forecasting that Nigeria will have the worst inflation on earth and so what that means is that if you buy a property you know at the dollar level that your property when, when you buy it if you compare the Naira equivalent to dollar so maybe you buy a property in January and the you bought it at um, something like 57 million Naira which is right now equivalent to a hundred thousand dollars if you wait maybe six months the price of that property might appreciate in Naira to about 60 million but if you now convert that 60 million to dollar in about six months you're gonna see that it's gonna be less than the hundred thousand dollars that you bought it so in Naira it's appreciating but in real terms it's depreciating so you don't want that because real estate is tied to the Nigerian market so if you invest in something like futures 
Now, if investing in the futures market, futures market are like you know like um, the, uh, a market where they do auctions for things like crude oil, you know, gold, sugar, uh, cocoa, coffee, tea, stuff like that. You know, you know, you can invest in that. You can invest in like a fund that's tied to the futures market because you can buy gold in Nigeria and transport it to New York and sell. You can buy uh, tea in Nigeria and transport it to England and sell. You can buy uh, uh, coffee in Africa and, and anywhere in Africa, Kenya, whatever, and take it to Germany. As a matter of fact, you know, um, Germany actually makes more money from coffee that is grown in Africa. They actually make something like twice the amount of money the, for the, than um, African nations do because they, take, they get it, they buy it, and then they resell it after they've refined it. So you can see that's the uh, disadvantage of real estate. Now, where is the best way to invest your money if you are maybe in Nigeria, Ghana, Tanzania, India, Bangladesh, Cambodia, you know, Thailand? Where's the best way to invest your money? The best place to invest your money in the year 2022. So the best place is in the US stock exchange, the US stock exchange. Now, you do not need to be a US citizen to invest in the US stock market. You do not need to be a US citizen at all. There's no citizenship requirement. And when you invest in, you know, you don't want to invest by yourself and just say, okay, well, I don't want to pay a brokerage firm. I'm going to go and do it by myself. No, you don't do that. Because it's not essentially that it, the U.S. stock market is the safest place to invest your money. No, there is an aspect of the U.S. stock market. It's called the S&P 500. The S&P 500. Now, S&P just stands for Standard & Poor's. Standard & Poor's is one of the world's foremost rating agencies. So they've, they've, you've got two. I tell you, there's, there's three. But two are uh, at the very top. So you got Fitch ratings and you got standard of bonds. Then you also have to a lesser extent, you have KPMG. Now these are rating agencies. There are others, but these are the best. Now, for the past 100 years, standard and bonds, they have an index called the um, S&P 500 index. Now what this is, is that they look at the stock market and then they take the 500 biggest American corporations or, uh, or, or corporations that exist in the American Stock Exchange and then they uh, publish an index. So it's called the S&P 500 index of the biggest 500 companies by market capitalization on the U.S. Stock Exchange. And so what happens is that you have uh, brokerage firms, you've got investment firms who now subscribe to that uh, publication and then they when when you buy um, when you when you when you give them your money to manage it's called an index fund an index fund is like you give them um, your money to manage in that s and p 500 index that's why it's called an index fund they only invest in shares of the 500 companies in that index now if one company uh, maybe drops out of the index maybe their sh their market capitaliz capital capitalization falls and they are no longer in the top 500 they leave that the index and then uh, they are replaced by another company so at any point in time you know these companies are only investing in the 500 biggest uh, corporations in the US stock exchange so it's called an S&P index so what you want to do is you want to find a company that invests in the S&P 500 and then give them your, mo your money to to manage and it's called an index fund it's called an index fund now over the past 100 years the S&P 500 have been given a return on investment of at least 10% of at least 10% now in the last 10 years it's done much better it's now been given um, uh, a return of investment of 15% so it's so safe if you put your money in you're sure that you're gonna get at least 10% maybe 15% and then you know there are also mutual funds. The difference between uh, index funds and mutual funds is that mutual funds are invested in securities. So treasury bills, you know, uh, uh, bonds and stuff like that. So mutual funds are okay, but it, I mean, I think that the safest bet is an index fund. So you get your money, you want to invest your money in an index fund. And it's very, very easy. You can actually get um, an index fund just by doing a Google search. You know, you, you can actually get an index fund. Just it's so easy. So I'm going to give you the 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 top the top seven you know uh, index funds. I'm going to give you. So what you want? You want the Fidelity Zero, Fidelity Zero. That's my top pick, Fidelity Zero. And then you have another one. It's called the Shelton Nasdaq. 
shorting as that don't worry it's going to flash up on the screen so you got the shorting nasdaq and then you have the invesco qqq invesco qqq and then you've got the vanguard s p you got the vanguard s p and then you have the vanguard russell vanguard russell again don't worry it's going to flash up in the, on the screen and then you also have the schwab s p you got the schwab s p you know you have the shop as a piece so these are the um, the very very best uh, um, um, index fund you know the very best index so you also have another one it's called the uh, Vanguard total Vanguard total so it's all going to flash up on the screen so you can just do a Google search you find them they've got contact info and then you know they accept money from any part of the world you might have to ask uh, answer uh, a couple of questions on how you got your money but that's, that's just to protect themselves so that they're not engaging in uh, money laundering helping you to launder money you know so now now my name is Renal Mockery and these are the safest way to invest your money in the year 2022 so if you have questions about arising from what i've just taught you you can put them in the comment section and so my staff are very very good at curating comments they bring them to me so if you see me responding to a comment under the comment section it's from me it's not from my staff and then you have to remember i don't have a whatsapp forum i don't have a telegram channel i don't have a gmail email address beware of scammers thank you for watching and god bless you